Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install Ubuntu on VMware Workstation Player 15. So that's been said, let's get started. So before installing Ubuntu on VMware Workstation Player, we have to first download and install VMware Workstation Player on your computer. So I had already made a video on how to install VMware Workstation Player on Windows operating system. So the video link will be on the description box or you will get the video link on the i button. So now let us discuss how we can install Ubuntu on VMware Workstation Player. For that first of all we have to download Ubuntu ISO file. For that open your favorite browser and search for Ubuntu and open the link from ubuntu.com. Don't worry about the link, link will be on the description box. So after that just click on this download button and here select Ubuntu for desktop. And here we have the download page. So here you can see the latest version is 18.0.4.1 LTS at the time of making this video. And here you get some system requirement to install Ubuntu on desktop. So we need 2 GHz of dual core processor, 2 GB system memory and 25 GB of free hard drive. And to download just click on this download button. So here you can see it is downloading and it is around 1.8 GB. So if your download doesn't start automatically, then you can click on this download now. So I had already downloaded the Ubuntu ISO file. So I'm going to cancel this download. So here you can see here I have the Ubuntu ISO file. So let me close this window and let us open the VMware workstation player. So here we get different options. So to create a virtual machine, you have to click on this create a new virtual machine and here you will get three options just select the last one I will install the operating system later then click on next and here you have to select your guest operating system so we are going to install Linux and here we have to select our version so our version is Ubuntu 64 bit then click on next and here you can name your virtual machine so let me name it as decoder world and this is the location of our virtual machine. Then click on next. Here we have to select our disk space. Let us select 50 for now. And here just select the second option. Split virtual disk into multiple files. Then click on next. And here we get our device specification. So let me click on finish. So here you can see we had successfully created our virtual machine. So now we have to set our ISO file. To set your ISO file. Just click on edit virtual machine settings under hardware tab go to CD slash DVD SATA and here just select use ISO image file and click on browse to browse your ISO file. So my ISO file is on download folder. So I'm just going to select this ISO file and click on open. Then click on OK. So we had successfully configured our virtual machine. So let us play the virtual machine. To play your virtual machine, just click on play virtual machine. So here you can see it is started to install Ubuntu on our VMware virtual machine. Sometime when you install Ubuntu on your VMware workstation player, you will get a notification to download VMware Linux toolkit. So I will suggest you to download that. So here we have our welcome screen to install Ubuntu. So here first of all we have to select our language and here we have two types of Ubuntu. Try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu. So we are going to install Ubuntu on our VMware workstation. Just click on install Ubuntu. And here we have to select our keyboard layout. Just select English USA and here also English USA. Then click on continue. And here we get some update and other software features. So just select normal installation and here on the other options just select download updates while installing Ubuntu and check this box to install third party software for graphic and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats. Then click on continue. After that we have to select our installation type. So here you can see this computer currently has no detected operating system. What would you like to do? So we have to select this first option erase Dix and install Ubuntu. Don't worry, it will not going to erase any data from your computer because we are installing this operating system on our VMware player. Then click on install now. 
don't worry about this this is fine just click on continue and here you have to select your location so England is fine for me just click on continue and here you have to give your name so let me write decoder world and here we have our computer name and this is our username and here we have to create our password let us create our password and here we have to confirm our password and here just select required my password to log in then click on continue so here you can see it is copying the iso file so it will take some time to install so be patient so finally installation is completed so let us click on restart now and here you get please remove the installation medium then press enter so we don't have any installation medium so we'll just hit on enter and here it is restarting our ubuntu operating system on our vmware workstation player here we get our login page just click on username and write your password which you had created at the time of installing then click on sign in so we had successfully installed ubuntu on our vmware workstation player so let me maximize the window and here we have a small problem here you can see here we have a huge black border so to solve this problem just click on this show all application then search for setting so here we have our settings this is our setting page here you will find a search option just click on the search option and here search for display so here we have our display control so let us click on this displays and here we get our resolution so let me drag this window so here we have resolution 800 by 600 so let us change this resolution to your default computer resolution so my default resolution is 1440 by 900 then click on apply then click on keep changes now here you can see according to your screen it will adjust its display and to remove all these windows option just click on this button enter full screen mode and here we are using ubuntu in full screen and to turn off your ubuntu operating system here you will find power button just click on this power button and here you get a power button just click on this power button and here we have three options cancel restart power off so this way you can install ubuntu on your windows 10 using vmware workstation player so that's it for this video if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this bye for now see you next video